Okay, we're back guys sa part 2 ng ating lecture in thermodynamics. Okay, so this time, we'll talk about the state property. So, ano po ba yung uh, libang state property sa pag-aaralan natin ngayon? We have temperature, pressure, density, specific volume, and specific gravity. Okay, let's do this. Okay, first, we have temperature. Temperature is an indication or degree of hotness and coldness and therefore a measure of intensity of heat. Okay, so temperature, intensity of heat and the measure of the average kinetic energy of the molecules. Ayun naman pala, no? So pag sinabi natin temperature is more on ano eh, um, hindi natin alam kung gaano ka hot yung hot or gaano ka cold yung cold. So depende na lang yan sa reference mo. Okay? So... Ano po ba yung ano, apat na temperature scales na madalas natin ginagamit or ginagamit natin dito sa pagkocompute? So, we have the Celsius or the centigrade from under Celsius. We have Fahrenheit from Gabriel Fahrenheit. Kelvin from Lord Kelvin or uh, William Thomson. Oh, same person lang po yun ha. And then Rankine from William Rankine. Okay. So, among these, ano, uh, ang ginagamit sa Philippines is Celsius. Sa US naman, Fahrenheit. Pero yung SI unit ng temperature is Kelvin. Ayan. So, si Fahrenheit, uh, si Kelvin is the absolute uh, temperature ng Celsius. Si Fahrenheit naman, uh, ang counterpart niya naman ni, ni, ni Kelvin kay Fahrenheit is the Rankine. Okay? So, lagi magka-partner Celsius, Fahrenheit, then Kelvin, Rankine. Okay? Ayan po. So, para mas malaman natin yan, ano po ba yung kailangan natin tandaan? So, we have the absolute temperature. The temperature measured from absolute zero. Pag sinabi natin absolute zero, that is zero Kelvin. Uh -huh. So, ano po bang ibig sabihin ng absolute zero? Oh, it's the temperature at which the molecules are believed to stop moving. So, kapag na-reach na yung absolute zero or the zero Kelvin, Ano, naniniwala tayo na hindi na po gumagalaw ang mga molecules. Yan. So, ito po, kailangan natin mga sauluhin na formula. Uh, relationship between temperature scales. So, we can convert from uh, uh, degree Celsius to degree Fahrenheit. Then, we have um, Celsius to Kelvin. Then, Celsius to Fahrenheit and Fahrenheit to Rankine. So, wala pong direct na ano. Uh, for example, Celsius to Rankine. Hindi pwedeng direct, no? So, ang gagawin natin, um, daan tayo kay Fahrenheit, then Fahrenheit to Rankine. Then, kapag naman uh, Fahrenheit to Kelvin, and vice versa, nadaan muna kay Celsius, then Fahrenheit. Or, uh, yun. Fahrenheit, Celsius, then Kelvin. So, sabi nga natin, Rankine is the absolute temperature scale for English system. And Kelvin is the absolute temperature scale for SI system. Let's do this. Yan. Temperature interval. So, pag sinabi natin interval, it is the difference between the temperature readings from the same scale and the change in temperature through which the body is heated. So, pag interval or change, meron tayong delta. Delta means change. Difference. Okay, so kung makapansin natin, ano, um, itong mga to, halos kinuha lang din sa original formulas, no? So, di ba, ang, for, ang original kasi yung formula ng uh, Fahrenheit to Celsius is ito. Ayan, so, 5 over 9 F minus 32 is equal to uh, degree Celsius, di ba? O, pero this time, wala na yung ano, yan, 5 over 9 change in temperature in Fahrenheit na lang, ano? So, para hindi tayo malito. And then, um, ito rin. Kinuha lang din doon sa original formula. 9 over 5 delta Tc. So, kaya nga lang doon sa original formula may plus 32. So, bakit sir nawala yung plus 32? Eh, kasi isusubtract mo din naman eh. Maka-cancel out lang din yung plus 32. Ano, kapag kinonvert mo sa, ano, sa Fahrenheit. So, mawawala lang din. And then, the uh, change in temperature in degree Celsius is equal to the change in temperature in Kelvin. Umatik yan kasi plus 273 lang naman si Kelvin eh. 
eh kung i-convert mo parehas, mag plus 273 ka, tapos i-minus mo lang din, cancel out yung plus 273. So, oo, oh, oh, yan po yung ating uh, relationship. So, napakalaga niyan, ano? Um, kasi, kapag nag-unit analysis tayo mamaya, no, uh, yung, yung part na yan sa sa unit analysis natin, o, oh, pwede sabihin Kelvin yung unit, ano, pero kapag that is change in temperature, pwede na rin, ano, uh, degree Celsius. Hindi na natin kailangang i-convert. No, so, uh, madadaan na natin ito sa mga next, ano, next part ng ating lecture. Okay? Uh, same with, ano, Rankine and Fahrenheit. Okay, note, 1 uh, centigrade degree is equal to 9 over 5 uh, Fahrenheit degree. And degree is to be written after the scale to indicate that it is temperature change. Ito po yung malagang kailangan natin tandaan. Kapag yung degree ay nasa after ng Uh, C o kaya ng F, ang ibig sabihin pala nun ay change in temperature. Kapag yung degree before, ang ibig sabihin nun, temperature lang. No? Kaya may makikita ko degree Celsius, meron namang centigrade degree. Meron namang degree Fahrenheit, meron namang Fahrenheit degree. May ibig sabihin po yun. At kapag after, ibig sabihin, that is change in temperature. Okay? And hindi lang napapansin ng iba, pero yun po yung ano, malagang kailangan natin malaman. Okay. Ayan! So, problem solving na tayo. Gagamit ko ng aking digital pen. Digital pen! Alright! Okay! Problem number one. So, the temperature of a solution is 31 degrees Celsius. What is the temperature in Rankine? Sabi nga natin, ano? Uh, Celsius to Rankine. Ayan. So, Celsius to Rankine po. Okay. Ayan. Okay. Ang gagawin natin is... Hindi, hindi po... Tayo magda-direct, ang gagawin natin is Celsius to Fahrenheit, then Fahrenheit to Rankine. So, first thing is hanapin natin, ano, formula. Ano nga yung formula ng, ano, Celsius to Fahrenheit? So, F is equal to uh, 9 over 5 C plus 32. Alright, di ba? Okay. So, ang gagawin natin, sige, eh, ipasok lang natin si 31 degrees Celsius. So, 9 over 5 times 31. May pangit pa rin yung sulat ko. Pero at least mabilis na siya. Diba? Okay. So, sige nga. Ah. Pindutin natin sa calculator kung ano makukuha natin sagot dito. Okay, game. Let's do this. So, we have uh, 9 over 5 times 31 plus 32. Equals! We have uh, 87.8. Okay. 87.8. That is uh, degree Fahrenheit. And then after uh, we get the answer in Fahrenheit, uh, we can uh, proceed to the next, which is R is equal to uh, Fahrenheit plus 460. And with that, we have 87.8. Medyo ma, ano, uh, mamaya, palta natin yung font color. 460. So, definitely, pag in natin yan, magkano po yan? So, we have uh, 87.8 plus 460. We have 547.8. So, meron ba tayo dyang sagot? 547.8. Run, kind. So, the correct answer is letter, letter A. Easy. Ayan. So, ganyan lang po, ano, conversion lang tayo. So, easy, easy, easy? Yes, sir. Okay. Kung easy, let's proceed to the next. Number two. Two thermometers, one Celsius and Fahrenheit, are both at the same temperature, but the reading on the Fahrenheit temperature is exactly twice that on the Celsius tem thermometer. What is the temperature? Okay, guys. Ah, uh -huh. so... Ito medyo ano medyo kakaiba yung ating problem. No. Wait lang ah, uh, palitan muna natin ng kulay. Tingnan na natin yung yellow din. Yellow. Okay. So sabi kasi uh, parehas daw yung reading. Pero ang ano ano dito ng ano, ano dapat uh, tandaan natin. Reading on the Fahrenheit temperature is exactly twice. Yun. Twice pala ano, hindi pala parehas. So ang nakuha daw sa Fahrenheit ay doble ng ano ng Celsius. So, F is equal to 2C. Ano, yan po yung mahalaga natin kailangan makuha dyan sa uh, question natin. And after that, 
Oh, ang gagawin na lang natin, we will use the formula. Okay? So dito sa mga choices natin, ang kailangan is ano, uh, temperature in degree Celsius. So ang gagawin lang natin yung F, palta natin nung sa ano, nung formula. Ano nga yung formula na gagamit natin? Yung 9 over 5 C plus 32. So get, we get the formula, di ba? F is equal to 9 over 5 C plus 32. Yan. So, okay. Gawin na natin. So, we have F. Basok natin dito. So, we have 9 over 5 C plus 32 is equal to 2 C. And, easy-easy lang tayo dyan. Makukuna natin yung C. Okay. So, okay. Shift solve na natin. Or, pwede naman, ano, you know, imanuman. So, 9 over 5 x uh, si x na naman lagi na lang nyan uh, equals to c to x shift so equals 160 so we get the answer which is 160 degree celsius and definitely anong sagot natin yan letter letter c easy okay Okay, ayos mo ba tayo dyan? Yes, sir! Let's proceed to the next topic. Pressure. So, pressure. Absolute pressure is the true pressure measured above a perfect vacuum. Ayan. So, perfect vacuum. So, nadaanan na natin din to uh, yung principle na to sa physics. No, this is just a uh, recall. Then, we have... Uh, sabi natin yung absolute pressure is what? The, the sum of these two pressures, the gauge pressure and the atmospheric pressure. Yan. And what is gauge pressure by the way? It's the pressure measured from the level of atmospheric pressure by most pressure recording instrument like pressure gauge and open-ended manometer. Or yung mas ma uh, specific na ano definition na binigay natin dati, it is the pressure exerted by the fluid. Yan. You know, by the fluid. And yun yung ano mine-measure ng ating mga pressure recording instrument. And then, atmospheric pressure, the pressure of the surrounding. No? Kaya, yung absolute natin ay pinagsama ng atmospheric tsaka yung pressure ng fluid itself. No? And, of course, it's obtained from barometric reading. So, yun. Ano, nakikita daw sa barometer. Barometer po yung, ano, yung, yung means ng pag-measure pag ng ating atmospheric pressure. So, si barometer ay inimbento ng uh, scientist Sino yan? Si Evangelista. So, Evangelista Torricelli. Yan. I think, yan ito. Parang Italian yata. <laughs> Base sa apelido, <laughs> Italian. Okay. So, note. Gauge pressure is negative. Kapag daw negative yun ang kuha natin gauge pressure, anong ibig sabihin nun? Um, ang tawag doon sa negative gauge pressure is the perfect uh, is the vacuum pressure no okay so vacuum pressure kapag negative kapag positive gauge pressure at ang uh, pressure daw sa perfect vacuum ay negative 101.325 kilopascals o big sabihin wala na talagang air na present doon sa vacuum as in it is a void space na wala kang uh, wala na wala nang matter yun We call that vacuum And ano pa ang kailangan natin tandaan? Uh, critical pressure. The minimum pressure needed to liquefy gas at its critical temperature. Ayan. Tawag doon, ano, para maging liquid yung gas is the critical pressure. So, sa natin ito mapapansin, pansin natin ito sa, ano, sa mga lighter. Ano, yung lighter, kita natin siya ay fluid. Tama ba? It is because um, na-achieve niya yung critical pressure. Oo. Tapos, pag pinindot mo naman si lighter, ma mapapansin mo, uh, nauubos yung fluid na nasa loob. So, ibig sabihin, you're releasing the pressure. And when you're releasing the pressure, the liquid becomes gas. Yun. Oo. Okay? So, nire-release mo yung pressure, nagiging gas siya. Kaya, mapapansin mo, kapag pinindot mo yung sa lighter, unti-unti, nauubos yung, ano, yung fluid na nasa loob. Okay? 
Alright, let's go! So, density. Mass density is the mass per unit volume. And of course, the formula is mass over volume. And of course, meron pa tayong tinatawag na weight density. The weight per unit volume. So, parehas volume yung denominator. Pero ang numerator dito sa weight density is the weight itself. No. So, take note of the units use. Okay na naman tayo sa unit. Ano ba? Familiarize. Okay? So, for SI unit, we have kilogram per cubic meter density. Pag weight density naman, newton per cubic meter. Ayan. Okay! Let's go! Another one is specific volume. A specific volume is the volume per unit mass or... Ano po yan? Ano ba? Volume per unit mass. Mm -hmm. Or kung mapapansin natin, di ba mayroon tayong formula na mass over volume? Yes sir, di ba? Eh ano yun? Di ba yung mass over volume ay? Density. Tama. That's why ang ating uh, another formula here is the reciprocal of density. Which is the specific volume. Ayan. So wag malilito. Ang dami nating variable na V dito na makikita. Uh, specific volume. The volume itself and another V is velocity. Okay? Ayan. Game, game, game. Ay, meron pa rin. Specific gravity. Specific gravity is also known as relative density. The ratio of the density of a certain substance to the density of standard substance. Ayan. So, air daw ang ating relative density for gases. Siya yung reference. And water for liquids. No, at the same temperature. So, formula ng ating specific gravity, pwede pong, ano, ayan, madami po. It can be density of gas over density of air for air. No, kapag naman, uh, what, uh, liquid yung nasa taas, eh, di water yung reference sa baba. Then, can be weight density all over weight density ng air. Uh, molecular weight ng certain gas all over molecular weight ng air. Or it can be the, ano, uh, gas constant ng air all over the gas constant ng gas. Uh, okay. Yun po yung specific gravity. Okay. So, ito yung kailangan nating tandaan na constant. No. So, density ng air is equal to 1.2 kg per cubic meter. Okay. So, kapag po hindi binigay, you should take note of this constant. Madalas to. Ito, kahit uh, hindi nyo natandaan. Ano pa? Ito, tandaan nyo, tandaan nyo lagi siya, no? Yung uh, gas constant ng air is 0.287 kilojoule per kilogram Kelvin. Yan. Okay. So, take note of this constant. Mahalaga po yan. Dapat sa ulo nyo. Sa ulo nyo to. Ito, bibira naman tayong gumamit talaga ng English, lalo na sa board exam. Okay. O, next. Yan! Meron na tayong ano, uh, problem solving. Number, number 3. Okay. So, let's try. Try nating solvin to. So, supposing two liquids of different densities, uh, rho is equal to 1,500 kg per cubic meter and density equals 500 kg per cubic meter, were poured together inside a 100 liter tank, filling it. If the resulting densities of the mixture is 800 kg per cubic meter, find the respective quantities of liquids used. Okay, so palit tayo ng ano? Orange naman. <laughs> Game. So, hinahanap is quantities or based sa, ano, sa choices natin, ang gusto niyang hanapin is mass. Okay? So, dito, may dalawang liquid. So, para lang tayo nagmi-mixture problem dito sa, ano, sa problem na to. No? Okay. So, isip tayo. Since dalawang liquid siya, ano yung, ano, pwede nating i-add na mga quantity? No? Pwede pa nating i-add yung density? No? Density 1 plus density 2 is equal to, ano, the, the, the sum of the two ano, densities. Pwede ba yun? Of course, hindi. Ano? Kasi kung iisipin mo, nag-add ano, nag, nag ka ng, ano, ng water na may 1,000 kg per cubic meter, 
sa isang water ulit, 1,000 kg per cubic meter, hindi naman siya magre-result into 2,000 kg per cubic meter. ba? Diba? So, hindi po pwedeng i-add yung density. Ano pwedeng i-add? Yung mass at saka yung volume. So, yun. Doon po tayo kukuha ng working equation. No? Okay? So, we have uh, mass 1 plus mass 2 is equal to total mass. Yan po yun. Ano? And another is kailangan natin uh, V1 V1 plus V2 is equal to total volume. Okay? So, game! Since mas yung hinahanap, edi eh okay na tayo dito. Mas 1, mas 2. So, piado. ano piado? Uh, sigurado, gagamit tayo dito ng ano, ng two equations, two unknowns. Kasi dalawa yung uh, hinahanap sa atin at meron na rin tayong dalawang working equation. Okay. So, mas 1 plus mas 2 is equal to total mas. Problema, wala tayong total mas. ano puro binigay sa atin? Puro dalawang density at meron tayong total volume at saka total density. Yan. Okay. So, game. So, ito yung ating ano, um, working equation number 1. This working equation number 2. Game, game, game. So, do, dito muna tayo sa working equation number 1. So, we have M1 plus M2 is equal to the total mass. Game. So, we have M1, since yan na po yung hinahanap natin, plus M2 equals total mass. Aha! So, density at volume lang naman po ang ating choice dito. And alam natin, uh, density is equal to mass over volume. So, definitely, mass is equal to density times volume. Yun, yun lang pala eh. Uh, total density times total volume. Okay. So, pag inayos natin, M1 plus M2 is equal to, ano yung total density? 800 kilogram per cubic meter. Okay na po tayo dyan ha. SI unit na siya, kaya wag na nating uh, pakilaman. Oy, volume natin is 100 liters. Yan, yun nga lang, 'di ba? Hindi dapat po 100 liters 'yan kasi dapat naka-cubic meter 'yan. And with that, kailangan nating i-convert. Eh, ano po ba ang conversion? Tatandaan natin yung conversion. Ano yung conversion niyan, sir? So we have Ito, tatandaan niyo, 1,000 liters is equal to 1 1 cubic meter. Okay, so yan po. Ano? And with that, meron na tayong ano, uh, equation number 1. M1 plus M2 is equal to uh, huh, 8, 000, 800 times 100 all over 1,000. So, 800 over 10. Tama ba? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, 800 over 10 is 80. 80 kilograms. So, this is equation number 1 natin. And then, yung sunod natin gagawin, kay volume naman. Doon sa volume natin. So, V1 plus V2 is equal to total volume. So, paano yun, sir? O, yun pa rin. Doon pa rin tayo sa ano, mass and density naman. O, ano nga ba yung giniven sa atin? So, we have... Kung volume yung pag-uusapan, diba? density is equal to mass over volume. Definitely, volume is equal to mass over density. So, ganun lang po yung gagawin natin. Mass 1 over density 1 plus mass 2 over density 2 is equal to the total volume na 100 liter. Okay, pasok na. Game, ayusin natin. So, we have V1 is equal to mass 1. Ano yung mass 1, sir? Ay, hindi natin alam. Mass 1 all over density 1 which is 1,500. Plus mass 2 all over density 2 which is 500 equals the total volume which is 100 liters. Kaya nga lang, ayaw natin ng 100 liters. Gusto natin ng ano? Gusto natin ng cubic meter. That's right. So, edi ano, gawin natin yun. Pagkaya nito, syempre dapat uh, i-convert lang natin. Ano? So, we have oops convert. So, we have times 1,000 liters 1 cubic 
meter. And with that, pwede na tayong mag, ano, mag-calculator. No? So, pag inayos natin to, uh, M1, 1,500 plus M2 all over 500 equals uh, 1 over 10. And that is our equation number 2. No? So, check. Check. Yan po yung ipapasok natin sa ating calculator. Let's do this. Pasok na natin sa ating calculator. Game. So, mode 5 1. 2 equations, 2 unknowns. And then, let it go. Pasok natin. So, una, M1 plus M2 equals 80. Diba? We have 1 equals 1 equals and then 80. Make sure na yung constant ay nasa right side. And then, we have uh, M1 all over uh, what's that? M1 all over 1, 5? Ano? M1 ano? So, we have 1 over 5. 1, 5. Equals 1 over to 1 over 500. Equals. And then, 1 over 10. And with that, mapapalabas na natin yung M1 mismo kasi siya yung una nating in-input. And M1 is equal to 45. Ayan. So, lagay na natin dito. Uh, M1 equals 45 kilograms and then M2 is equal to what? Oh, pindot pa isa pang pindot equals pa equals we have 35 so definitely yan yeah, 35 kilograms easy so ano sagot natin? we have letter D so sir pat baliktad okay lang yan ano designation lang po yung nabago pero yung sagot yung pa rin okay and Number 4. So, pusi tayo sa number 4. Ano? Air enters a nozzle steadily at 2.21 kg per cubic meter and 30 meters per second. What is the mass flow rate through the nozzle if the inlet area of the nozzle is 80 square centimeters? Guys, ano? So, ba't nandito yan? Eh, ba parang problem yan ng, ano, ng physics natin sa fluid dynamics? Yes po, ano? Tama-tama kayo, ano? So, problem siya ng ating fluid dynamics at ang working formula natin dyan is ano, uh, mass flow rate. So, pag mass flow rate, ang ating ginagamit na formula is what? We have density times area times velocity. Okay? Okay, sir. So, meron tayo ditong kilogram per cubic meter, mass over volume. Density, we have velocity, and meron tayo ditong area ng inlet. Oh, easy-easy lang pala, sir. Ano? Yes, ano? So, gawin lang natin. Ayan. Gamitin lang natin si formula. Game! Let's do this. So, we have mass flow rate is equal to density. Ano yung density natin? We have 2.21. 2.21 kilogram per cubic meter. Easy. Easy lang, sir. Easy lang. Galit ka. <laughs> Hindi po. Galit. Okay, game. Area. Ano naman yung area natin? We have 80 square centimeter. Kaya nga lang po, ano, ayaw naman natin ng 80 square centimeter. So, mamaya pag pindot natin yan, dapat naka square meter. So, paano siya pipindutin? Pag sa calculator mamaya, hindi naka 80 times 10 to the negative 4. No. Kasi si centimeter is times 10 to the negative 2. Tapos, i square mo yung times 10 to the negative 2. Definitely, that's times 10 to the negative 4. Nagmumultiply po ang exponent. No. Okay. Game. We have another one, velocity. So, velocity is 30 meters per second. And with that, tara, pindot na. Let's do this. Game. Balik lang natin yung calculator natin sa dati. 2.21 times, eto, pipindot natin 80 times 10 to the negative 4. Alright. So, times 30. Okay. Equal. So, Meron tayong sagot na 0.5304 Meron ba tayo dyan? Yes sir! Easy, easy pala yan Of course, easy, easy lang sa atin And the answer is letter A Okay okay Guys, kung makapasin nyo nga pala sa ating ano, Meron tayong audience ngayon Si Dogo <laughs> Ayan si Dogo At saka si ano Si, si Posey Ayan, si Posey 
At of course, meron tayo dyan ang anak ng tatay. <laughs> Yan, yung manok niya nandyan. So, mapasin nyo, ano, uh, sila yung mga maiingay lagi sa ating ano, presentation. Okay, so, sinali ko na sa presentation natin. <laughs> Alright! Okay. Uh, ano ba yung may maingay? Siyempre, yung mga sasakyan dumadaan sa, ano, sa highway. So, we are along the highway as of now. Kaya, ano, uh, bear with me, guys, sa mga, sa mga noises. But, hindi tayo nagpapadisturb sa mga noise. Diba? Yes, sir. Alright, let's do this. Number five. A fluid moves in a steady flow manner between two sections in the same flow line. At section 1, yan, binigay yung mga ano, yung mga kailangan, ano, at section 1, uh, we have uh, A1 is equal to 0.10 square meter. Oy, meron tayong velocity. So, velocity is equal to 6 meters per second. At meron tayong, uy, ano yan sir? V na naman, V na naman. Eh, yung unit niya is volume per mass. Eh, definitely, that is, ano, uh, specific volume. So, 0.33 cubic meter per kilogram. Ano pa? At section 2, we have uh, area 2. Binigay na naman yung area. 0.20 square meter. Then we have density. Uy, density yung binigay. Density 2 is equal to 0.27 kilogram per cubic meter. And then, uh, last, we have... Ay, wala, wala na. Anong tinatanong? The velocity. The velocity at section 2. Yan. Okay, so, kung makapasin nyo, oh, Galing na naman to sa ating fluid dynamics. Ano nga yung kailangan nating anong principle para ma-solve to? Ano nga yun? Yeah, tama. Ano? Um, continuity equation. Okay? So, sa continuity equation natin, alam natin na ano, na ano yung equation natin doon? So, we have uh, mass flow rate or volume flow rate. Q1 is equal to Q2 sa so section 2. Okay? So, dito, anong, anong gagamitin natin? Ano ba? Mass flow rate o volume flow rate? Definitely, tama, ano? Uh, we will use the uh, mass flow rate. No? Okay? So, we have... Uh, kasi meron tayong density, area, at saka uh, volume. Yan. Okay, game, game. Ano pa ba? Ah, hindi pala volume. Uh, that's velocity pala. Okay? So, using the continuity equation... We can say that uh, mass flow rate sa 1 is equal to mass flow rate sa 2. Or pwede natin sabihin ano, ano ba yung given sa 1? Uh, area, velocity, and specific uh, volume. So, pag yan po yung ano, given, specific volume, ang formula natin is ano, hindi tayo pwede mag-row AV kasi meron tayong specific volume. So, we have area 1, V1, all over uh, specific volume. One. which is equal naman saan? O yan, pwede mag-row AV to. Ano? O, density 2, area 2, times velocity 2. And with that, ano, pasok lang natin sa ating ano, uh, equation. Area 1 is 0 0.10. Okay na tayo. SI unit na yan. Eh. Velocity, 6 meters per second. Okay na tayo dyan. Specific volume, 0.33. Okay na rin yan. Kasi SI na. Cubic meter per kilogram. O game. Density tayo. 0.27. Pinindot ko. Ah, nilagay ko pa rin ito kahit SI. Then we have area 1. 0.20. Lahat naman pala sila SI unit eh. 0.20. Then we have velocity 2. Dahil the, ano, the unknown. Definitely, pag pinindot natin sa calculator, sige nga, pindot din natin. Pindot na. Let's do this game. Aha. Uh -huh. Yan, sir. So, we have uh, 0 0.10. 0 0.10 times 6 all over 0.33 equals 0.27 times 0.20. Ang galit, sir. Hindi ang galit. Times x. Easy lang tayo. Equal shift so equals 
Bang! 33.67! Meron ba tayong sagot dyan? Yes, sir! Easing easy lang pala, sir! Of course! Letter B. Easy! Okay, okay tayo dyan? Yes, sir! Easy! Uh, okay, number 6 na tayo, guys! Alright, so a tank contains water. What is the intensity pressure of at a depth of 100 fathom? Convert a vacuum pressure of 110 millimeters of mercury into absolute pressure. Atmospheric pressure is 10.5 meters of water. Okay, so hinahanap dito is the intensity pressure at a depth of 100 fathom. So ano kaya yung pressure na yun? Is it uh, absolute pressure or gauge pressure? So, ang given kasi natin dito is a tank, di ba? Na may tubig daw. Ayan. So, isipin natin, pag, ano, pag sinabing intensity pressure, it's more on gauge pressure. No, gauge pressure. On the, on the other hand, tank po yung pinag-uusapan natin. Ano? So, pag walang sinabi, we, we assume it as a closed tank. Ano? At kung closed tank siya, hindi siya uh, open sa atmosphere, therefore, wala siyang atmospheric pressure, ang i-account lang natin dyan is the uh, pressure due to the fluid which is in this case water so kung ganun lang pala sir ang formula pala na kailangan natin gamitin dito is the uh, formula for gauge pressure which is uh, ayan, ano nga yung formula natin for gauge pressure we have rho g h tama ano so gauge pressure is equal to rho g h where h is the depth Okay, game. Pasok na natin. Density. Ano ba ba yung density ng water? Meron pa ba, ba tayong binigay dito? Wala, sir. And kung wala tayong binigay, syempre gagamitin natin yung default value. Ano yun? Dapat alam talaga natin kahit hindi bigay, which is 1,000 kg per cubic meter. Guys, kailangan po sa ulo natin yung constant na to. 1,000 kg per cubic meter. So, SI unit na siya. Wala na tayong problema. Punta tayo sa G, which is 9.81 meter per second square. Easy! And then, H. H is the depth. Oh! So, ang dami namang given. Pero, kung ma ano makapansin nyo sa mga given, hindi natin gagamitin. Ano? So, hindi porket marami, marami tayong given sa problem ay gagamitin na agad natin guys ano, we analyze it kung ano lang yung essential at kailangan para masolve yung problem yun lang po yung gagamitin natin this time isa lang pala kailangan natin yung 100 fathom the problem is kapag hindi natin alam kung ano yung fathom at kung ano yung conversion nya ano nga ba yung conversion natin ng fathom so tatandaan ano uh, ito kasi mga ano eh ancient unit <laughs> So, tatan natin, 1 fathom is equivalent to 6 feet. And, ano, ano pa yung ibang, ano, yung isa pa? Furlong. Pag furlong naman, equivalent siya sa 660 feet. Okay. So, ginagamit yung fathom sa, ano, sa, madala sa pag, ano, unit siya ng depth sa ng ocean. Ayun, parang ganoon. Para malaman mo kung gaano kalalim yung ocean o yung dagat. Ayun. So fathom yung ginagamit nila ng mga uh, navigators. Okay. So convert lang natin. 1 fathom 6 feet. And of course, hindi natin kailangan ng feet diyan, ano? Kasi it's or as a unit yung gagamitin natin. So instead of feet we use the meter conversion. At alam naman natin, 1 meter no, is 3.28 feet. You should know that. Kung hindi nyo alam, edi eh, use the calculator. Meron doon. Okay, so pindutin na natin. Okay, let's do this game. We have uh, 1,000 times 9.81 times 100 times 6 all over 3.28 Okay! So, ang sagot natin dito is 1794512.195 The unit is Pascal So, pag kilopascal it is ano uh, ayan, wala 
Pag kilopascal, we have 1794.5 kilopascal. So, definitely, meron tayong tamang sagot sa mga choices. So, 1794.5 kilopascals. The correct answer is letter letter B. Ayan. Okay. So, proceed na tayo sa number 7. A barometer can be used to measure an airplane's altitude by comparing the barometric pressure at a given flying altitude to that on the ground. Compare the airplane's altitude if the plot measures the barometric pressure at 700 millimeters of mercury. The ground reports it at 758 millimeters of mercury and the average air density is 1.19 kilogram per cubic meter and g is equal to 9.8 meter per second square. So dito hinahanap sa atin is the ano, uh, yung kung gaano kataas. No? So compare the airplane's altitude if the plant if, if the plant measures the barometric pressure 700 mmHg okay while on the top while on the ano, sky sa ground naman 758 mmHg so ito pala yung illustration yan ang pinapahanap dyan is ganun daw kataas yung ating aeroplano so yung aeroplano natin ito yan so wala wala yun yung aeroplano yung tinatanong is the the height okay so, paano natin malalaman, sir? Pwede pala yun, uh, pressure yung given, pero makukuha natin yung height ng airplane. Of course, yes. Ano? So, still, ang working uh, formula pa rin natin dito is ano, uh, rho gh. So, tatandaan natin, no? rho gh. So, pressure is equal to rho gh. But this time, meron tayo ditong difference in pressure. Ano? So, kaya mangyayari dyan, Ano, uh, delta, uh, change in pressure is equal to rho g times delta h so delta p is equal to rho g times delta h okay. pero dito uh, sabi kasi dito yung pressure natin ay pressure at this point is what sa taas we have p2 700 mmhg Sa baba naman, we have 7.58 mmHg. So, meron difference ng pressure. Oo. So, as we can see, kahabang tumataas yung, yung aeroplano natin, bumababa yung air pressure. Tama ba? Yes, sir. It is because, uh, at this point, mas maunti na lang yung, ano, yung column of air na nasa taas niya. Compare naman dito sa nasa, nasa baba. Ano? Ayan. Dito sa baba. Ma, marami pa siyang column of air. O, meaning, mas malaki pa yung, yung pressure. So, so, meron tayong P1, uh, P1 minus P2, the change in pressure. Then, ang tinatanong naman dito is the height, the altitude. Which is the delta H. Yun yung kailangan nating hanapin. Okay? So, ganun lang po. Ano? O, okay. game. So, here we have 758 mmHg. 758 minus 700. Kaya nga lang, ano, uh, si mmHg kasi, si mmHg kasi, ano, yan, pagpura lang. Hindi po siya SI unit. So, kung hindi siya SI unit, paano yan, sir? Uh, kailangan natin siyang i-convert. Ayan, laki naman. So, ano ba yung SI unit ng ating pressure? Of course, alam natin, that is Pascal. So, conversion factor, we have uh, 760 mmHg is equal to 1.013 times 10 to the 5 Pascal. Yeah. Equals density. Anong density natin? Sir, ayun. Binigay naman yung ano, air density. 1.19 kilogram per cubic meter. Rho G 9.81 Ay, hindi. 9.8 lang. 
meter per second square. And then, the delta H or the height itself. Makukuha na natin yung altitude. Okay, game. Let's do this. We have uh, ha, 758 minus 700. We have 758 times 1.013 times 10 to the 5 all over 760 mmHg equals uh, 1.19 times 9.8 times x. Alright. Ship solve equals 662.90 So sir wala namang sagot diyan ano Okay lang yan ano 662. Ano nga yan? Uh, 90 Ang pipiliin natin syempre yung pinakamalapit Anong pinakamalapit natin diyan Syempre sir yung we have 663.07 All right okay sir ayos ayos okay So yan Definitely makukuha na natin yung H And let's proceed to our last question sa ating ano, uh, properties, state properties. So number 8. How much power is there in the kinetic energy of the atmosphere with a density of 1.217 kg per cubic meter at 56 km per hour wind velocity? Consider the section that passes through a 3 meter diameter circular area normal to the velocity. Okay, usapang power. So dito, medyo malabo kung paano natin siya kukunin yung sagot. Kung hindi natin alam yung direct formula. So, the first thing is, kailangan muna natin malaman talaga kung ano yung direct formula ng ating ano, problem. Eh, ang problema, ang given sa atin, uh, density, velocity, tsaka, ano, diameter. No? So, medyo, ano yan, sir? No? So, simula tayo sa power. Power kasi yung hinahanap eh. So, kung power... Alam naman natin, ang power is, ano, uh, energy per unit time. So, kung energy per unit time, no, energy per unit time. Oh, anong klaseng energy yung sinasabi dito? Yun, nakalagay naman, kinetic energy. No? So, power is work, o kaya naman energy per unit time. So, palta natin yung energy ng kinetic energy. Over time. And then, alam naman natin yung formula ng kinetic energy. Ano nga yun? That is 1 half mv square all over time. Ano pa? Aha. So, mer medyo may ano, nal naliliwanagan na tayo kasi lumabas na yung velocity. Check! Okay. Ano pa? Aha. Sir, ito. Ito, may makapapansin tayo dito. Kailangan kasi natin ng density. Tapos ito, diameter. Kung diameter ito, ito, ang, pup ang pupuntahan lang talaga nito si area. Yan. So, ano yung merong ano? Ano yung kakailangan, yung equation or principle na kakailanganin yung density tsaka area? ba kung, kung babalikan natin yung fluid dynamics, makikita natin yung sagot dito. Ano yun, sir? Mass all over time. ba Ano yung ano? Ano yung variable na may mass over time? ba? Kilogram per second. ba yun ay? Mass flow rate? Of course! Yes, sir! No. So, kung mass flow rate siya, pwede natin sabihin 1 half Qm V square. At doon na po lalabas yung ating ano, rho AV from the mass flow rate. No? So, ang mangyayari dyan is 1 half ba ang mass flow rate is rho AV? We have rho A V times V square. Ah, ang formula lang pala, ang direct formula nyan, kapag given ang density, area, and velocity is 1 half rho A V cube. Okay, so yun lang pala sir, of course. Yes, yun lang yun. Ano? So pag inayos natin, okay, meron tayong density check, meron tayong area using the diameter, that is pi over 4 D square. And we have the velocity, which is naka-kilometers per hour. Yun, medyo ano nga lang ah, sa unit, unit analysis. Kailangan, ah, 
tama yung ating pag paglalagay ng unit. Okay, game. So, game. Uh, pasok na natin. Pwede naman natin isa-isahin, pero dito, pagsawasamahin na natin. Okay, so we have power is equal to one half density times area times V cube. Game. One half density. Ano yung density natin? 1.217 Yan na po yun. Ano? Naka-SI na siya. Area! Area is... We will use the diameter. No. Sabi nga natin, that is pi over 4d square. The area of uh, circle using the diameter. So, we have pi over 4d square. We have 3 meters. Times velocity. Velocity is 56 kilometers per hour. Convert lang natin sa SI unit ng velocity. Ano nga yun? Meters per second. Tama ano? So we have 1 kilometer, 1,000 meters, 1 hour, 3,600 seconds. And then, cube. So, okay na tayo? Ano? Kompleto na ang tropa, ipasok sa formula. We have 0.5 times 1.217 times pi over 4 times 3 square times 56 times 1,000 all over 3,600 equals syntax error. Wow, wow, we wow. <laughs> No, kulang lang ng multiplication sign. Equals! Yes, sir. We have 66.91. Uh, Meron ba tayo dyan? 66.91. Oops! Bakit wala? Bakit wala? Pi over 4 d square. Uh huh. Saan tayo nagkulang? Ay! Yun! May, may nagkulang talaga tayo. No. So guys, huwag natin gagayain yung ano, pagkakamali. No? Bakit sir? Anong, anong saan tayo nagkulang? Wala. Hindi natin na cube. Yun yung ano. Yun yung possible na pwedeng uh, uh, error na magawa natin. No. Kasi ang ginawa natin is uh, nakalimutan natin i-cube yung ating uh, velocity. So balik tayo. 56 times uh, Nagdire-diretso lang kasi tayo. 1,000 all over 3,6. Sigurado tayo. Pwede na to. Equals! Yan. So we have 16.190 kilowatts. So, okay. Or 16.19 kilowatts. Tama. Ano? Meron na tayo nakikitang sagot. So that is letter. Letter! A. Easy. Okay. And that's all for our uh, part 2 which includes the state properties ng ating thermodynamic uh, system. So, thank you for listening. God bless future engineers. Bang!